In this video, there's a free resource pack. Please just watch to the end. It really helps me out and just give me a like button just to boost the YouTube algorithms. Hello, it's Marco here from Markham 3D. And in this like three, four minute video, we're gonna create a forest using a whole bunch of 2D planes with pictures of trees that I've created for you. So all you gotta do is go to the Gumroad page, download, let's get into it. So let's kind of do this really quick, very simply. Default cube, delete, shift A, let's add in a plane. I'm gonna scale it up a bit. I'm gonna press right click and subdivide, 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 subdivide. Let's select two vertices. I'm gonna press O for proportional editing and I can go G to the Z. And then we're gonna kind of make mountain range. There we go, so something like so. Now let's go ahead and import our trees. So from here, I'm gonna go file, import image as planes. With the free resources that you have, I'm just gonna select all the images and import images as planes. Next thing we wanna do is go into the material setup or in view, and we want the origin to be down the bottom. So let's go tab into edit mode. Let's go GZ, then about there. That looks good to me. And so now all our trees are gonna spawn down the bottom. Let's go G, Z and just move it all the way down. Let's left click on our plane. Let's come down into the number. We want 28,600 for the amount of subscribers. I'm gonna press enter. At the moment, our frame starts and ends at one to 200. So what's gonna happen is over the next 200 frames, 28,600 trees are gonna spawn. We don't want that. We want them only one shebang. So we'll change the end frame to one. And then we can see how many little wonderful dots we have. Let's go ahead and select these again, which I should have done first. I'm gonna press M to make a collection. So new collection, I'm gonna call this trees and press okay. Back on this plane, let's come down into expand render. We're gonna change halo to collection. And obviously our instance collection will be trees. And we can see that they're facing the wrong way. So let's go ahead and select all these. Let's go rotate X 90 degrees, control A, and we're gonna apply that rotation. And what are we looking at? Are they the right way? No, they're upside down. So let's go rotate X 180 degrees, control A rotation. There we go. So now they're standing up and they're from this angle here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase the scale. So we have that. Let's increase the randomness of the scale. There we go, I'm just gonna bring that up even some more we can see that the trees are kind of facing along the normals, I guess. So let's minimize render. Let's go to rotation, enable rotation. Let's change velocity hair to global Z, I believe. There we go, so everything's facing this way. Now what we're gonna do about the grass here down the bottom, you can just apply a grass texture, but what I'm going to use is use the scatter add-on because it's got a really nice grass texture. So I'm just gonna select that, bam. Biomes manager, expand that. And we'll scroll down to where the material is. There we go. And there we go. So we've got like this nice little grass material. Next thing we're gonna do is I'm just gonna put a sky in. So let's go into dynamic skies. I got another video on this, but we're pretty much gonna cover it now. So expand dynamic skies, create. Let's go into shading, object. We're gonna change the world. And I'm gonna go change that to dynamic one. Let's go back into modeling, sorry, layout. And if we go into material mode, we will see that we've got lots and lots of black, which is fine, we'll fix that in a sec. Let's kind of set up our camera first. So there we go, I think that looks good. Let's just go into um, rendered view and we can see that there's a whole bunch of black. Now what it is is because there's a whole bunch of alpha images, obviously the alpha part is transparent. So we need to come up into the ren render settings expand light paths and transparency. We're gonna bump up to maybe 50, just because there's so much of it. And we can see that now that's pretty much see-through. So that's looking really nice. I just wanna adjust the camera a bit more, bring it down. And I think that looks quite nice. I think we're at the point where, let's just click render and we'll see what happens. Came out quite nice here in the bottom left, we can see that the trees are in a little bit of an angle, but other than that, that's pretty So good. once again, thank you for watching. Please, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, trying to boost those numbers. And until next time.